Hello guys, in this video, we are going to scatter a bunch of assets using the scatter add-on in Blender. And the good thing about this is that you don't need to download any additional add-on. It's already inside Blender. Just go to Edit, Preferences and search for Scatter Objects. Then you can go ahead and turn it on. In order to use this add-on, all we have to do is select the object we want to scatter and then select the object we want it to be scattered on and then you can go to object and press scatter objects then all you have to do is draw around where you want the objects to be scattered and then if we come here under tool we can adjust the density the scale the randomness and there are a bunch of values you can adjust when you have something you like you can go ahead and press enter and it's that easy you have the rock scattered around so if you go over to your scene collection you can see that a scatter collection is created and then you can select the rock so it placed this rock and made instances from this rock object you can go ahead and make these instances real by pressing ctrl a and make instances real so you can select individual rocks and edit them separately so let me turn off this plane there's something you'll notice this planes under the instance object to get rid of this will show in your render but to get rid of it in your viewport you can go into your object under instancing you can choose to toggle it off on that show instance or toggle it on so we can go ahead and just let's delete all of this if we go into scope mode pull out some of these faces select the object then shift select the object you want to scatter it on go to objects scatter objects and then if you draw even on these raised surfaces, you will see that the rocks will follow along. Go to your tool, you can bring down the density or even increase the density, increase the radius. Let's bring down the scale, randomness, press enter. And then we have a bunch of rocks scattered around. So, another good thing is that you can scatter two objects or multiple objects at the same time. Let's scatter both this arrow and this rock. For the arrow, since we want the tip of the arrow to be on the plane surface that we are scattering, we have to move the origin point of the arrow to the tip. So to do that, we have to select this arrow, bring our cursor, put it at the tip of the arrow, make sure it's placed there, and then go to object, set the origin, origin to the 3D cursor. So then if we select the arrow and select the rock, select the plane last and then object, scatter objects. You can also do this by pressing F3, search for scatter and scatter objects. I'm navigating with the middle mouse. You can go ahead and draw where you want to scatter these objects on the plane and let's hit enter. So we can see that our arrows are too small. We can go ahead and select the instance of the arrow and scale that object up. And then it will increase the scale for only the arrow. So you can go ahead and hide this rock object, the instance object. Do the same for the arrow. Go to the arrow and hide it. So that is how you can easily scatter objects in Blender. The tool is already present in Blender. All you have to do is go to edit preferences and enable it and i hope you learned something today don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video